What's going on my curious bunch of health fanatics? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have an exciting topic to discuss, the hallmarks of aging or the drivers of the aging process. What are they and how can we combat them, these drivers, to stay youthful and healthy? But first, a quick message to the Google moderators. We are not selling any product or service. This video is not an advertisement. Okay, with that out of the way, let's dive in. So aging is a natural process and understanding the drivers of the aging process can help us take proactive steps to live longer, happier lives. So let's dive deep and see what the drivers of aging are. We're going to use a paper called Hallmarks of Aging, which identifies various reasons about why humans age. The first hallmark of aging is genomic instability. As your cells divide, they have to make copies of their genome, which is 3 billion base pairs or 6 billion amino acids in sequence across your double helix. Mistakes can be made in the replication process, but also things like chemicals, UV light, and other forms of ionizing radiation can also cause those mutations. So steer clear of anything that can interfere with your genomic instruction book. The next hallmark is telomere attrition. The tips of your chromosomes are called telomeres and cells divide, and as the cells divide, the telomeres become shorter and shorter. Once they reach a certain shortness, cells can no longer divide, which means your body cannot produce the abundance of proteins your youthful body once could. As cells are actually protein factories, exercise is one of the best ways to extend telomeres. The third hallmark is epigenetic alterations. The epigenome is the system that controls what genes are turned on and what genes are turned off. As you age, some genes that kept you youthful may get turned down, producing less of the rejuvenation proteins you once had. An epigenetic diet is required here. Things like green tea, curcumin, broccoli, folate, B12 and B6, also selenium found in nuts, legumes, beans, are all great epigenetic regulators. I will link to my paper called The Ability of Nutrition to Mitigate Epigenetic Drift in the details below, for those of you that also like to do super deep dives on these subjects. The fourth hallmark is loss of proteostasis. This is where cells experience a decline in their ability to fold proteins properly. This can lead to all types of tissue dysfunction, keeping yourself away from harsh chemicals, ionizing radiation such as UV, and maximizing autophagy through fasting and exercise can have a strong impact on proteostasis. The fifth hallmark is deregulated nutrient sensing. This is where cells are damaged and struggle to recognize certain molecules and fuels such as glucose. Purging dysfunctional cells through fasting and exercise can help greatly here. Number six, mitochondrial dysfunction. The batteries of your cells are called mitochondria and when they start waning, the cell cannot get enough energy to perform important tasks. And this leads to many types of biological health problems downstream. Exercise is a massive booster for mitochondria, but there are also simple supplements you can use such as CoQ10, alpha lipoic acid, N-acetylcysteine or NAC, and acetyl-L-carnitine are all great mitochondrial boosters. The seventh hallmark is cellular senescence. This is where cells enter a zombie-like state, and instead of going through a process of programmed cell death, which is called apoptosis, cells hang around in the tissues, misfiring, giving off all kinds of incorrect signals, which can lead to illness and disease. I'll link to a video up in this corner shortly about senescent cells. The eighth hallmark, is stem cell exhaustion, which is pretty self-explanatory. You need stem cells to repair damage to tissues, but as you age, you may experience waning levels of stem cells, and this leads to aging conditions such as sore joints or slow wound repair. Many of the hallmarks I've already mentioned can contribute to this. So stay young by exercising, and when I say exercise, I am talking about an elevated heart rate or weightlifting or both. I am not talking about taking the dog for a leisurely walk. If you aren't breathing heavy during exercise or sore the next day from lifting weights, you will be having little effect on your longevity. Number nine, altered intercellular communication. This is where cells cannot communicate properly with each other. For example, if you have a wound, cells need to communicate with each other so that they can organize themselves. 
across the wound. However, once cellular communication is corrupted, cells cannot group and perform their functions, resulting in things like slower wound healing and impaired tissue function. There are, of course, other hallmarks, and I'll drop another video on those shortly. So with all of these drivers of the aging process, I would urge you to perform regular exercise. Currently, the only magic pill that can keep you youthful is exercise, and primarily muscle building and from lifting weights. A 2004 study from the journal Current Opinion in Clinical Nutrition and Metabolic Care found, and I quote, muscle mass decreases approximately three to 8% per decade after the age of 30, and this rate of decline is even higher after the age of 60. So staying physically active and maintaining muscle mass, bone density, and improved overall cardiovascular health is paramount for your anti-aging toolkit. I cannot stress this enough. So if you found this information helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. It's super helpful for us. And if you have any questions or want to share your own anti-aging strategies, leave a comment below. Always chat with your doctor about health data you see online. Don't forget to grab a copy of my book, The Anti-Aging Toolkit, second edition out now. Hit that thumbs up button, fist bump the subscribe button, or face the consequences of your actions. Visit me at www.scienceofaging.life and as always, stay young and stay vibrant.